Well, I'm sure you've heard this a lot today, but I mean, you've got a wonderful chemistry in the movie that we very much sort of believe you as sort of being best friends for a whole cool. lifetime. I'm just wondering if you knew each other well before the project or if you had to do kind of team bonding exercises beforehand. Yeah, to try trust and get to know exercises, each other. yeah. We'll oh. catch you. We didn't know each other. We had a bunch of girlfriends um, in, in common. common, yeah. And, Which uh, was good. And trust, you know, you're like, oh, if I love her and she loves her, then that must be perfect. She's not going to be insane. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Precisely. Um, we, we had a week, right, before we started mm -hmm. shooting. But on day one, I mean, we it just got right easy. in there. I think we got so lucky, too, that we, our personalities are what they are, that it just, it just worked. Yeah. We worked. I think my favourite aspect of the movie is that Millie's a very human role. I mean, she's she's flawed, and you don't yes. you have to actually work hard to pity her. She's not the most sympathetic. And I was just wondering if that was part of the appeal for you both. If that's Absolutely. what you feel. Absolutely. Yeah, it's much more realistic than having some you know saintly woman who goes through something. Um, I mean, I just love that she her her transformation is is quite profound for me. And I think in a way it kind of is what the film about. You know, her priorities are all wrong, and ultimately. She learns to appreciate what she has, you know, and have respect for it and, and feels love even more deeply. Someone I love very much who lost their mother and it was a very long um, and unfortunate drawn out process <coughs> and she just said, I'm so glad to see that somebody gets mad at somebody here and that it's messy and that it's not all this sort of portrait of tears and empathy and perfection she's like that isn't what it's like and life ain't like that and mm. and and yet there is the most care and nurturing and you know the platonic love of how much you are there for that person it, she's like it's all there and that is what it is so i i felt so excited going into it that it that it seemed honest and not movie-ish yeah it's grounded it's rooted in reality um, and those flaws and that messiness and the humor and the graciousness and the altruism of what everybody goes through is, is just, it's beautiful to me. I mean, it is a very moving film. It's not contrived in any way either, but I mean, are you guys able to watch it and get moved and cry watching it yourselves? Or is that quite difficult considering you're the lead I was roles? a wreck at the world premiere the other day. It was the first time I really saw it in its sort of most polished form also and, and mm. objectively and... I have this thing when I watch movies um, where I relive the emotion of it. I, I can't help it. I can't. I mean, it's hard to be objective. I mean, I can watch it and look at, at the work for what it is, but I somehow just get caught up in what's what happened on the day as well. So I, f I find it very moving also. When shooting the kind of tough, big emotional sequences, do you actually find that sometimes you almost laugh and it's kind of they're kind of harder to to shoot in a sort of serious way because you're supposed to be so into it. I mean, I was just really in every moment that we were doing. So I wasn't like, if anything, sometimes we had to fight back tears and stay strong. Yeah, that was the, that was probably, I don't, I don't think we ever were laughing in a moment that was meant to be. Yeah. Um, but, but we were emotional. allowed to also say things, you know. There was a real freedom and, and we had, um, we, we were able to play, you know. There was a lot of improvisation and just kind of being there and being open to each other. There was amazing humor in the script too. And then we got to ad lib as well. And I just was always blown away at the like amazing grace of these two women, just being able to like s say the things they said in the moments that you say them, which you wouldn't think you would be able to say them that way, but that would be ultimate friendship, is to be able to lift each other up and make jokes. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!